Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Marie here and I'm just going to check in with you guys. I am walking to work. It's currently something like that guys. But I just wanted to check in because I know that my March monthly vlog, I don't think I've done a lot of talking to you guys. So yeah, you guys can tell I'm out of breath. But one thing is to note, parking in DC is super, super, makes myself hate it. Y'all, so clearly you can hear in the background something. I'm watching Glamazante because she's amazing. But anyways, guys, I just want to let you guys know that for today's dinner, today's date is up March 15th. It's Wednesday, child. Your girl is uh, using items from Trader Joe's. Story is going to be the uh, Trader Joe's chicken shawarma thighs, and then I have the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. And I am going to be throwing on um, some string beans, but guys, you know, obviously this is going to take longer to cook than the actual string beans, and you know, but yeah, guys. So I just want to show you guys what dinner tonight is looking like, guys. Okay, okay. Okay, everybody. So this right here is going to be the final result of the chicken shawarma thighs and with my potatoes with the peppers and onions and then your girl did heat up some vegetables so these are gonna be the vegetables fine green beans guys and also i'm just gonna put this inside the mix and then let it get some of the juices and then eat din din okay okay hey y'all it's your girl miss marie here and welcome to another day of me vlogging um so as you guys know your girl does do a little bit of pre-recording. So while this will be in April's vlog, today's date is actually March 22nd. So anyways, guys, um, by the time this video comes out, uh, your girl will already be back from her trip. So I'm going to Florida, you know, with some friends. And this right here is actually going to be pretty awesome. And I'm pretty elated and excited. However, your girl doesn't typically tend to wear my natural hair um, on trips. Uh, I am a wig wearer. I just typically sew it down. By sew it down, I mean child, like every little step i take in my mind and in my brain i therefore sew the wig onto the hair cap etc 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 and all that jazz so yeah guys so your girl is going to this uh wig store i feel like i've been inside here once but yeah guys so let's see how this is going yes your girl is straight off of work so my hair is very much so giving frizzled frazzled all over the place but i really don't care about that child i'm going to try to record but i'm not too sure about this establishment so yeah guys again we're going here looking for a wig i know that um previously in one of my videos i wore this wig and everybody liked it however it's a old wig but i mean old wig like it's a wig from like 2017 so i don't even know if they even sell it anymore if they have it but a majority of these you know places they tend to have a couple laying around that's what i'm hoping for so if this store doesn't have it then i'm gonna go to two more stores because i really like this wig and i cannot find it online so i'm going to insert a picture of what the wig is going to look like and then yeah guys so just come along with me on this journey and plus today also we're going to giant too because giant um they're having a sale on hagenash ice cream if you guys didn't know this if you're not new to this but you're this, you guys know your girl is very 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 picky when it comes to ice cream i only like vanilla bean ice cream and i only like hagenash vanilla bean ice cream i've tried them all i've tried briars dryers um turkey heel what else i've tried great value like i've tried them all and i really just don't like it the only thing that comes a little bit close is a blue bunny from a vanilla bean but it's still not hitting like it's something about that madagascar vanilla bean that hagen uses guys so yeah so i'm going to try to stock up on that because i believe there's no limits and then also another ice cream i like um i like the waffle cone by hagen and i also like um their spirits collection which is the bourbon and praline so i'm gonna see what this uh uh one has and then if this one isn't good i'll just go to another one because i really don't care like it's today only and it's a weird day it's a wednesday so it's like why would you have this on a wednesday i don't know child but we let's get into this okay okay i'm hanging on my neck the bracelet matches the set my brother name is tina dollar stop all that back and forth over the net my mama wish i would have went corporate she wish i would have went exec Still turn to a CEO, so okay y'all yes excuse the hair because it'd be windy out here y'all but your girl went to another beauty supply store and they didn't have it and again i know i'm like shooting in the dark here but 
like I love that wig so much and I really would prefer to like wear that because like the curls were something about the curls and then it was like a fake lace front because it really wasn't any lace it's just like and I like the curl pattern of it but child I don't think I've ever bought a wig in person or if I have like there was like so many years removed from me y'all they was out here trying to sell half wigs for like $29.99 set it's like are you crazy are you dumb like easily them things do not cost that much money but anyways guys i'll chat later hey y'all so i know this isn't the best uh angle child because you can see a little bit of my steering wheel but anyways guys so this right here is the third store i went to and they don't carry it and again guys i know that the likelihood of me finding this wig is like slim to nothing because i just went to three stores but anyways guys they got me if you guys didn't know i love myself some beauty supply store um jewelry child not my eyebrow looking non-existent Woo. I had to double check in the, in the mirror up there. So anyways, guys, your girl spent about $15 on some earrings. They were $1.99 each. And honestly, I remember back in the day, you used to be able to get two for a dollar. I mean, not two for a dollar, but if you get two or more, they would be a dollar each. But anyways, guys, uh, your girl has been more into silver lately. So I got me some big silver uh, bamboo earrings, which I love. I had to pick up another pair of gold. I, I wear these like all the time, like in real life. Maybe not in my YouTube videos, but in real life, I wear these all the time. Then I'm getting these like silver, almost like fake textured diamond-y looking ones. And I feel like these were cute and different. And again, I've been on a silver kick lately, guys. Then I'm getting these. These look smaller and cute. They remind me of the scoop and rings I recently uh, just got. But these are like a little bit bigger. Because I like the bigger the hoop, the better, honestly. Then I end up getting these. These just look interesting to me. These are giving off a little door knocker vibes see cute and i'm picking up the last two of those so, two one two because what do we do guys if we find something we like we purchase it again and again guys i mean in double then i end up getting this uh again i love hoops this right here because when it's in your ear it should be giving off a little like fake you know rhinestone -y diamond vibe and it was cute i said oh that's i was like oh that's you know interesting yeah guys so that's what i spent my money on okay and again i got seven one two three four five six seven for 1.99 each i just came in like this little cute little bag but yeah guys so i'm not sure if i'm gonna actually be able to pick up uh this uh unit or not i'm gonna still hand uh sanitize my hands because i can't find it now i could go all the way to this other place because they have about, I want to say, mm, two hair stores in one. Like, it's like a mall. I could go over there. Mm, but I really don't care for the timing in which, because this mall right here is like, you know, like a lot of things be happening at this mall that aren't necessarily so good. So I think I'll just head over that way. Plus, I want to go to the Giant. And every time I go to that Giant, I'm always able to find the Hagen Dodge flavor in which I want. So yeah, guys. So let's just go over there. I already know I'm on this line of this car, but I don't care, y'all. Let's go in here. Okay, now y'all, another story time. So I just went into this uh, UPS store doing a return for Amazon. And the young lady, she asked me like last time, I'm like, is this new? And then somebody barges in, didn't even say, hello, excuse me, um, all stores are independently owned. And uh, we're just asking for the last name just in case something happens to your package. No, and you call us, no offense, but you having my last name isn't really gonna do much, but I just let people rock because I can very much so give combative. I can very much so give, like, I know the rules and regulation. So what she said to me honestly was dumb because I can give you my last name, but it's not really gonna do anything for me, you, the situation, if you lost it or not. It doesn't, like, I can literally give you any last name I want to give you. So I gave her my mother's last name. Like, that's dumb. Because if you guys lose it, I'm going to expect for someone to pay for it or Amazon just gonna refund me my money. So it's not really even that big of a deal. And maybe it's something more expensive or maybe if it was like, you know, maybe not an Amazon return, but it literally was an Amazon return. But again, guys, 
I don't want to be combative because it was because I went to uh, this other store. Um, what was the name of it? Oh, Rainbow. I went to a Rainbow and I will never go there again for returns. I will buy from them, but I won't do no returns. And they tried to make a copy of my packing slip, which had my, you know, first last name on it, had last for my, you know, my card information on there, had my billing and ship address. And I said, do you mind if I, you know, uh, redact my personal identifiable information on there? And she's like, no. So I went ahead and I called up Rainbow Customer Service. And a person in Rainbow literally had to speak to them so that they could just allow me to, uh, you know, to remove our information. But some stuff just be dumb to me and you just doing too much. Like, and I said, is that new too? And that's the thing, guys. Don't be scared to ask your questions or to say anything. Like, is this new? Is this policy? Because you making a copy of my you know label or you know receipts is gonna do anybody any good honestly truly when we think about it it's really not so i so i just want you guys to know look if somebody says something to you and they sound dumb yes i'm using the word dumb please be sure to challenge it okay please be sure to and that just irritated me so i just went the long way for no reason and all i said was is that new and she must have thought i was like you know somebody younger than what I appear to be because your girl is old -der, than what I appear to be but it's like girl it's just like first say hello excuse me don't just interject yourself but again guys I'm telling y'all I, I, I be trying to be nice I'm a child of God so guys so let's go into the store because literally that lady irritated me I promise you you guys she did so let's go inside of Marshall's and let's uh, go inside of Ross. Just like, you know, a little quickie quick. Quickie quick. Because I need something now. And that line better not be long. Because if that line is long, you guys already know I'm going to come back out here and I'm going to tell you guys, okay? Because I really like talking to you guys. And I really like a nice uh, story time moment. But it's just like, girl... And she's like, relax, your day is almost over. It's six something. The store closes at 7 30, I think. <sighs> As I digress, guys, let's go, let's go. Hey, y'all. So, excuse the noise in the background, but look, on my channel, we're going to keep it real, okay? So, that's your girl heating up a little TV dinner. Anyways, your girl went to Giant today because they had haagen ice cream for $2.99. And, child, so I got the infamous vanilla bean, okay? I love this stuff right here. So, I'm getting two of those. And, um, then, lastly, I'm getting basic old, and I guess maybe butter pecan is the basic, but regular old butter pecan. Y'all, because... Why the store I went to, they literally were like ransacked. I think it's because earlier this week they had to sell for two for seven. And people probably didn't look at the very bottom where it said Wednesday only, March 22nd. This ice cream, excuse the wig cap, guys. This ice cream was going for $2.99. So I literally couldn't find any of the flavors that I liked or that I wanted. So yeah, so disappointed. However, I was able to get three and that's good. And I ended up also getting a coupon child for a buy four, get a dollar fifty off. So what I really could have did was, you know, I really could have just bought one more, you know, that made this like even cheaper or whatever. But yeah, guys, this right here is going to be today's haul from Giant. And yes, guys, like, look, my counter looks like your counter. Okay. A whole bunch of stuff on it. So yeah, guys, so this is going to be your girl, Miss Marie, signing out. Hey, everybody, it's your girl, Miss Marie here. And yes, we're doing another setup. So welcome to April's monthly vlog. And you guys are not new to this, but true to this. You guys already know your girl is pre-filming this. So today's date is actually going to be March 28th. And first things first, let's get into the air fryer recall. Were you guys aware of this brand? having a recall child so anyways um i did this back in i want to say february and so they shipped me out a brand new air fryer literally i haven't even opened it up yet so your girl has been doing a lot of shopping lately so um i got something from amazon and actually this might even be a little shapewear situation but yeah guys so let's see from amazon 
I have to blur this out because they really put in my address everywhere. Yeah, so this right here is gonna be the Shaper X. I saw this come across my TikTok feed. And um, yes, yeah, so I got this in a size small slash medium. And ooh, child, this has become a brand ambassador. You can receive, ooh, that's interesting. Hey guys, so let's see. If you guys didn't know, I tend to wear a lot of shapewear just because it just like gives me like the best look. And I tell myself, if Kim K be wearing shapewear and she got her body done, then they ain't nothing wrong with me being natural. Me guys, this is what it's, what it's giving, honestly. The shapewear. Um, and I'm gonna see if it gives what it's supposed to give. Um, yeah guys, just simple, plain. So let's see, because people definitely um, said that this is very much so giving um, Skims dupe a child. I mean, they need a launch, because they said, you know, size down if you want to be snatched. And I want to be snatched, but I feel like my body a large. So I'm going to try this on, you know, over some shorts or something. So I got this thing with like 36 bucks. Next up, your girl got a lot of wigs. So um, this right here is going to be coming in from a Sam's Beauty. Your girl spent her own coin on this. So Sam's Beauty, if you want to sponsor me, please do. Fresh right, on camera. I just want to make sure you guys can see this. Okay. And I believe I spent over like a hundred dollars. Hey guys, so first things first, you guys know I love myself some personal nails. I'm actually happy this came. Cause I might be wearing some of this on my trip. So these are from Kiss Impress. Uh, these give them like old school vibes, honestly, truly. First off, what is this? Space Cadet Love Bites. I feel like they gave me the wrong thing. Because while this says Space Cadets, y'all, this right here is very much so given ugly. Very much so given ugly. I don't, well, I mean, I say ugly, not for me, y'all. Then I got this one in this uh, style Love Bites. And this right here is cute. Matter of fact, this right here is fire, actually. And these are giving like old school, like 90s, early 2000, like press on nail vibes, which I love. Then I'm getting this, like a little black and crackle. This right here is giving so cute. And these are like originally priced, I believe like $3 or so. But I probably I feel like that's the wrong picture. And this right here is going to be another one of Love Bites again. Because I assumed I would like this one. But Space Cadet is not giving what I thought was. First of all, guys, nothing about this. I got to go back to this. Nothing about this screams, hey, guys, let's go to space. Nothing. So I don't know. I may have to give this to uh, to my best friend's daughter because I don't like this. And I hope she liked this. So if you watching me. I hope you like it, girl. And this right here is what I really wanted. And this, again, not what I really wanted because, child, not me. I'm getting tongue tied. This is what I really wanted. This right here. But I said, oh, this right here is cute. Again, give me old school. This right here is called Tabloid Buzz. And you can tell this old child because we don't, do we even call the tabloids tabloids now? I don't know. But this right here is what's going to be given like a little purple. Again, all old school designs. Like, you know, back in the day when you used to go, you know, to be supply store and then you used to go in the back and uh you know then they'd be like oh design design and you'd be like yes on what finger and most times like your thumb or your big toe or like your middle finger this is what this is given like oh yeah design mm -hmm. so yeah, guys so that's gonna be that now let's get to the wigs okay guys so this right here is gonna be the seduction wig called sw mara they don't got no picture on this so let me see if maybe it's in the um the card on the inside no it's not hmm, interesting but um i don't think i've ever purchased anything from this brand and i got this in 1b30 um but it should just be a curly unit um if i can your girl will definitely insert in pictures of what it's supposed to look like on a model but yeah guys this right here is this wig and you guys already know since i am doing a wig haul right now of course I'm going to do multiple wig reviews coming up on my channel because I really like wearing wigs, guys. So then I end up getting um, Sensational uh, Instant Fashion Wig Dara. I got this in the shade DR26. Hold up. 24613, guys. 
And this right here is giving like a blonde, like an icy blonde with black roots or a two and a four root child. But I'm hoping I can make this do what it do because I, I low key, I've always wanted short hair. I'm probably gonna insert a picture of me actually wearing short hair like years ago. I'm thinking like 2000, what was this, like 17? So I'm gonna insert a picture. And child, I love that short wig. So, I mean, I got it. So, we got this right here. And I believe everything I got was under $16 because I made it a point to get all of this, at least the wigs. But, right, so this right here is going to be Dara in a 1B. You know, just a little plain color. Cause I told myself, child, you know, sometimes you think you want some color in your life, but you're like, dang, Parsha got the, you know, Parsha got the soft black, the off black, the black. So the same style I just showed you guys. Then um, this right here is gonna be Wig Pop by Outre. This right here is going to be in this uh, style Crescent. And this right is gonna be in the color DX Golden Amber, guys. And it's gonna look exactly like how it looks on a model. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the glare, but it's very much so given like, you know, what is this? Like a blonde and then like a brown, but it's giving cute though. So I can't wait to try this. And again, guys, I purposely picked shortcuts because I'm trying to see, cause you guys know, look, it's springtime, right? So that means like we getting this like hat weather. So you can like put on a little short, little wig dupe. And then you put on like, you know, a little hat, little fedora, boom, killing the game, okay? then next up we have the janet collection naturally curly this right here is going to be in the style natural afro mia in the color caramel and guys this right here see you guys can't see it but you see how it's like blondy and then brown that's honestly been like my vibe lately um I definitely know that by the time this video comes out, you guys would have seen my uh, Outre Mia Bella wig, which is totally giving like Renaissance Beyonce's hair. And I like that color. So your girl's definitely going to be playing around with color hints. This caramel hints, golden amber, like, we, we gotta try these colors because I don't think I'm ever gonna dye my natural hair. Um, like, you know, a vibrant color child. I'll dye these grays black, but you know, then next up, we have the Natural Afro Leon. And this right here is also from the Janet Collection. And this right here is gonna be in the color Orange Aid. And guys, I've been loving my copper red wig. That's actually a kinky uh, straight style. I love that wig so much. I said, child, I said, let me see if I can make it do if it's curly. But that wig right there cost me, you know, some money. But yeah, guys, but look at this. Are you guys seeing that two-tone? It's just like, you gotta be different. I said, child, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably am gonna insert clips of me uh, going to a local uh, beauty supply store. I went to like about four beauty supply stores in one day. And y'all, these prices, they literally were charging like $35 for this. I took a picture of it. And I said, child, let me take a picture of all the styles I think I would like on myself. But you guys know is that the difference is, is that when you purchase your items online, I've said this before, plenty of times before, like Sans Beauty or Wig Types or Hair Stop and Shop and all those jams. It's like, you know, they may have restocking fees if they even allow you to return items. Sometimes it's like final sale. So, you know, at least if you go to your local beauty supply stores, you can at least, you know, see it, see if you're gonna love it then maybe purchase it on the cheaper end from online or from Amazon. Because I know that some sellers on Amazon, if you purchase a wig, they will allow you to return it, you know, free of charge. No restocking fee. So I love that. This right here is going to be the last wig, guys. Okay. And this right here was totally a TikTok influence. If you guys didn't know, follow me on TikTok. Okay. My name is The Miss Marie with two E's. But yeah, guys, this right here is going to be the Equal Light Curtain Bang wig. And this right here is totally in style. I remember the first person I ever saw as a recently with the Curtain Bang. It was Peyton Charles. I love Peyton Charles. Then I saw um, Kyra I'm Unique, you know, with it. And yeah, guys, I'm. I'm all about color, okay? Because when I go to work, I just go ahead and wear my little natural black 1B, you know? So I got this um, in the color High Cocoa. High Cocoa, guys. And again, you guys can't see it because of the packaging, but it's definitely giving like brown with a little bit of blondy highlights. I don't know if it's even gonna, you know, come up well based on my uh, coloring or not coloring, child, based on the lighting inside of here, but it's definitely very much so giving like, you know, chocolate and then like a little bit of brown, guys. So I can't wait to try this. Cause I'm just like, this right here will be a like a cute, you know, throw one and go wig, you know, for the summer months. 
or at least for the hotter months ahead, child. But yeah, guys, so I just really wanted to come on camera, you know, and get some footage for you guys. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to insert any clips from me going to uh, to Orlando. I may or may not. It just depends on how I feel and depends on, you know, if the people I'm with, if they feel comfortable, you know, uh, getting filmed. So, yeah, guys. So, um, at least you guys will be able to, you know, see me. Because that's really what you guys are here for. Aren't you? Aren't you here for me? For me only. So, I'm going to see what I can do if I can make it do what it do. So, if you made this fine video, just go ahead, click that like button, and go ahead, click that subscribe button, okay? Because on a weekly basis, your girls can provide you with videos out of the way to beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And yes, sometimes your girls are going to throw in there some shorts of me eating good food, okay? Because that's one thing I would say about the DMV area. While the food is expensive, nightlife is expensive, the food sometimes be hit, okay? So, of course, I'm going to hit you guys with, you know, videos of me just eating so that's something into like this video and subscribe okay okay hey y'all so i'm out here in orlando florida and we're trying jollibee's guys so let's see This right here is going to be the Belladonna made by Ryan, as you guys saw. So cheers to me, cheers to us, with the flower. Let's get it. There's chickens. They just roam around. Looking like Popeyes, KFC meals. Hey y'all, it's your girl Miss Ovary here. And today's day is gonna be April 7th. I believe I inserted in some clips earlier of your girl going to the pool to get some little swimmation on. Yes, I make up my own words. Okay, okay. So I thought since we're all friends here that you guys may want to see my little Trader Joe's haul. So you guys, look, I know I look distressed and in despair, but y'all, it's honestly just this hair. Like it just, you know, goes with the wind. It's gone with the wind fabulous. But anyways, your girl went to Trader Joe's today and I spent um $74. And guys, look. I barely really got any food. So I did put away a couple of items. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got left, which isn't a lot. So I saw these new items, at least to me. Um, today is Good Friday, so happy Good Friday, okay? And by the time this video comes out, look, but just know he rose. So this right here is gonna be the Trader Joe's Wild Salmon and Yogurt and Mint Sauce with Orzo Pasta, Spinach, and Zucchini. And child, the Zucchini, I, I said it once, right and then i can't say it again child but the zucchini is kind of like you know it's a little scary a little shaky everything else in this sounds good uh, then your girl also oh and the price on this let me get up the receipt Ugh, how much was that how much was that was 4 dollars that's actually not bad you know for a piece of sand <laughs> that's not bad and then your girl saw this this was new to me okay this is gonna be the shrimp boom bah now child look this right here is supposed to be crispy, battered, tail off round shrimp with a sweet and spicy sauce. Boom. 
boom this right here was a little bit expensive because you guys know how trader joe's seafood products are um this right here was ringing in at eight now now i said child i'm just going to try this for me myself and i then i ended up getting these infamous hash brown the trader joe's hash browns um i have a paypal so peyton charles talks about hash browns um and actually i watched dominique a2 on youtube and she talked about how she likes the trader joe's hash browns these right here were rather inexpensive these right here were 2.49 and i'm not really a hash brown type girl um but we're gonna see one of these patties is 120 calories if you guys care and no, i'm not counting calories um, but your girl did recently come back from a trip by the time this vlog comes out it's gonna be like you know weeks between that and your girl gained like nine pounds but i'm slimming back down so i think only gotta lose like two more pounds because look i'm not new to this i'm true to this um and then what else did i get okay and then your girl's gonna get in some of these beef tamales i like these these taste really good for them to be frozen and these are rather inexpensive these will ring in at 3.99 and again 3.99 for two is not bad child look y'all just go ahead to the map okay so i picked that up then I believe I told you guys in a, sorry, my new camera chat. I believe I told you guys in a previous uh, vlog how I love myself some olives. So I picked up the Trader Joe's Spanish Manzini. Look, you guys already know, I'm American. I'm gonna butcher your name real quick. It's hard out here, okay? It's hard out here for me. But basically, child, these are the olives with the pimento paste. And this right here is a good size jar. This right here is gonna be a 10 ounce. And these were ringing up. We're really swinging up. Uh, for two forty nine, I said y'all not bad because if I were to get some of these like from like any other retailer, like even if you try to get like great value Walmart brand child, they would charge you like three plus dollars. I said y'all go ahead and get these. Well, and yes, the olives are a little bit smaller, but it's okay. I go through olives so much. And anyways, um, I had these before. These are gonna be the Trader Joe's garlic and jalapeno stuff. Olives. These are here so good. Who guys? Now, yeah, I've been talking a lot real fast. These right here were ringing up at $3.99. It's basically four dollars. But guys, I haven't experienced before. These literally have pieces of garlic in them and jalapenos, child. And these taste good. I've had these before. So I say, child, let me go ahead and do a little quick Trader Joe's run. Then lastly, if you ask me the most important thing, you're growing to picking up some more Trader Joe's daily facial sunscreen broad spectrum which is important which is what you need your sunscreen needs to at least be 30 or higher okay this right here is coming in at 40 this right here is oil fee oil fee child look oil free fragrance free um water and sweat resistance for 40 minutes and guys this right here is pretty good now full transparency this box is small this is coming in at a price of 8.99 i know what you guys are thinking listen it is what it is this right here is really good i actually have some more right now on my face and this literally is a clear gel which if you're a melanated lady such as myself like you know what i'm talking about basically it's not gonna leave no cast on you not gonna leave no ash it is okay um and depending on your employer you guys know that you can write off sunscreen with your uh health spending account if you guys have one so um i haven't written this off yet um just because your girl uh, might be getting braces real soon but you guys know you know business line it up so you know i'm trying to save my little coin you know to put it over there in a memory bank but yeah guys so sunscreen definitely can be written off but it has to be broad spectrum okay and i think it has to be broad spectrum of 30 and up don't quote me look guys look 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 i'm just your fellow youtuber friend here okay but i definitely know that you know depending on your plan or whatever but guys i totally would recommend it i feel like people aren't talking about this enough so literally and i'm not even oily and it doesn't really give me any type of shine if i am oily child because oh, i had to get hit and back and all that traffic uh because you guys know today's friday but uh yeah guys but i totally recommend this if there was anything i could recommend to you in this trade girls haul without me rambling on it's gonna be pick up pick up yourself some olives pick up yourself some sunscreen okay so stay tuned for the rest of this vlog that's a vlog child stay tuned for the rest of this vlog okay okay all right guys i just want to show you guys a little bit of me like doing a little bit of cookation so this right here um it's going to be chicken breasts and of course in the air fryer the new one i just received and your girl end up using well i like these packets in general the wild garden persian this right here but i like even though this thing say quick child and it says for about like 30 minutes or whatever no you guys oh and i know you guys see that best before child but look clearly i grabbed the wrong one 
um, and it's April. Yes, I'm fully aware. But um, this thing say 15 minutes. No, for this right here to really have some real seasoning to it, I honestly would suggest like overnight it, at least one or two nights. So that's what this is. And then your girl just has some um, some uh, string bands, and your girl's uh, watching Glamazon Tay on YouTube. So yeah, guys, since you're here, it's going to be today's dinner. And by the way, today's date is going to be April 10th, and today is one of my friend's birthdays. Happy birthday, Serena! I can't wait to hang out with you in a couple of weeks for your birthday. But yeah, guys, since you're here, is going to be dinner tonight. You know, protein, then veggies. That's it. We're done. Okay, y'all, so this right here is going to be the you know, the finished product of today's dinner. And again, watching Glamazante. Literally, she's amazing. Big yeah, guys, start here's what your girl's gonna be chowing down on. And I just finished editing a video on my little iPad that I got for you guys. So, come on, get into it. If you made this far in this video, just go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. All in my free, so yeah guys. So, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, everybody, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the item I got from In's Clothing. In Clothing, they remind me of, like, Senses, basically. However, they only have, like, guys' um, items. So, In Clothing, they are overseas. So, yeah, guys, first impression. Boom. Okay, now, presentation. Now, if you guys know anything about me, you guys know that your girl, like, look, I like good customer service. So, um, this item did arrive late. So, you know, I just simply called them. This must be my receipt. So, I simply just called them and asked them, hey, can you guys please refund me my shipping costs? You know, this was packed by David. And they did it, y'all, because my shipping was like $9.99. But look, mm -mm, all things matter. If you guys didn't notice about me, yes, your girl is a sneakerhead, if you ask me. So, um, these are in a men's 8, a woman's 9.5. And I've never owned these before. These right here are going to be the Nike Zoom Proton Dust and Chrome. Your girl was definitely influenced on TikTok. And I hope they look better in person. Okay, now, these are cute. Now, if you guys know anything about me, your girl likes odd, you know, shoes that most people wouldn't get. So, when I saw these on TikTok... I said, okay. I said, look at the silver. I said, it's definitely popping out. Child, not me getting something on my nail. But, um, yeah, guys. And I already knew that these will probably look ugly, like, when you just look at it, okay? Like, when I got my first pair of Yeezys, they were the, I don't even know, guys. But I'm probably going to insert a picture of them. But when I first got those, those definitely were ugly. However, those are my most comfortable shoes. And literally... I was so happy to get them. So, you know, they ain't looking like much. But yeah, guys. These are my new babies. And um, these were the only ones that they had. Um, because I was influenced off of um, TikTok, these already released, like, I want to say in March. And I bought these in April. So, I had to size up. Now, I never owned a uh, pair of these sneakers. Like, you know, type. So, I just said, okay, girl, just go ahead get the eight and then make it do what you do because in regular size i'm a size nine however in men's shoes i'm a size seven but i said girl the eight ain't gonna hurt nobody okay we all can use a little bit of room in our shoes okay okay guys so um i think i'm gonna be i think i'm gonna do a little bit more in this uh, monthly vlog but if i do not come back i want to thank you guys for watching this monthly vlog okay okay